Listen, mm-hmm. what is what is what do people not really understand about um educating black kids? Um, you know, I think the biggest the biggest miss You can give us a couple. Okay. I know it's deep. I would <laughs> say um one thing is like you have to respect them. Mm-hmm. It's not a respect you because you are their elders. Right. It's not because you're an adult, they have right. to listen to you. Right. Mm-hmm. right. I didn't see a lot of adults do a lot of dumb ass shit. Right. They're not, that doesn't equal, no. So you have to respect them first um, and remind yourself that these are actual human beings who have a lot of value and a lot to say. And the issue with educating black kids is that we also often want them quiet and in compliance and sitting at a desk and not making no noise and in a straight line and pants pulled up and shirt tucked in and they're not in jail. Yeah. Um, and, and they're unique. Yep. And so the same way that you look at a kid from a Hispanic background and you look at them like a, you know, that they're English language learners and they have a different culture. Our black kids need to be looked at just like those Hispanic kids. Like they come from their own culture. And so you cannot go into this work assuming that they are just like a white kid because they're just not. Like Mm -hmm. the same way that a Chinese child and a Hispanic child are so unique in their culture, black kids are too. And so you know, a lot of times because their cultural differences aren't valued nor respected, they get this label like they're dumb. And so, you know, they'll come to kindergarten or preschool or kindergarten or first grade and they're talking about how, you know, oh, they like this vocabulary or they don't know, you know, they don't know enough words or they can't spell or, but it's like, no, they don't know a lot of English words because that's not their native language. <laughs> they know words, right. but it's not being looked at a value because it's, you know, slang when it's like, no, it's a form of like communicating. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I would just say that when you are working with black students, particularly those that are from the inner city, like from the hood, recognize that you are in foreign land. And so approach it like you would approach going to Italy or France. You are open minded and you are adaptive and you actually want to mimic their cultures. Like stop going in the black classrooms, trying to make them white classrooms. Right. They're right. not. Or trying to get them to learn, like, you know, like white students. Mm-hmm. You know, black kids, inherently, we do not learn the same as, 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 no. as white students. And that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? That's right. that's perfectly that's that's perfectly fine. So you, you, you're speaking a lot of real.